Are you having trouble getting your Blink Sync module to connect or stay connected to your Wi-Fi? I have been through the same hassle with my Blink system and in this video, I'll be detailing all I did to get over this predicament. So stay tuned and make sure to follow all the steps that I mentioned in this video to get your Blink system back in action. I recommend that you start off strong with a clean reset of your module. This helps in tackling multiple issues that could have piled up over time or due to errors in general operations. Just note that this will wipe out all data from your sync module, including its associated system, so you will have to pair it once again with your Blink account. Now, there are two variations of a reset when it comes to the sync module. A regular factory reset and a firmware level reset. But first and foremost, remove the sync module from your Blink app. Next, let's start with the regular factory reset. Press and hold the reset button on the back of the module till the lights up front flash red. Then release the button and wait for the module to start flashing blue and solid green lights, indicating that the module is ready to be set up. Try adding the module back again to your Blink account and see if you can get your module latched to your network. If not, proceed with the firmware level reset. This hard resets the firmware of your sync module, ensuring a refresh on the core level. First, unplug your sync module from power. Press and hold the reset button on the back of the module while unplugged and while holding the button, plug the module to power. Keep holding the button till the module boots and flashes a red light. You can release the button now and let the module reset. When it's ready, it should show the usual flashing blue and solid green lights. Once again, try adding the module to your Blink account and see if your issues persist. Now, if your sync module does not connect to your network, even after resetting, there's a high possibility that this is a network-related issue. Although this is quite an obvious step, the fix can run a bit deeper than you initially thought. You see, the Blink module, like most smart home devices in the market, connects to a traditional 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and does not work with the newer 5 or 6 GHz bands. This is because the 2.4 GHz bands offer wider coverage and the connectivity speeds they provide is ample enough for the operations of the sync module and its connected cameras. So, if your router supports multiple bands of Wi-Fi, make sure that you're connecting to a 2.4 GHz band. If you have a network that auto-switches between the bands, contact your service provider and ask them to manually split the bands. If you're tech-savvy enough to access the router portal and configure the settings on your own, then great! Otherwise, I recommend that you stick to professional help from your service provider. If splitting is inconvenient, at least ask them to create a separate SSID on a 2.4 GHz network so you can connect your sync module as well as all your smart home devices. Having a separate network with such devices also negates any stability issues that one may face with too many connections to a network band. And while you're at it, also temporarily disable any VPNs, firewalls, or custom DNS configurations that you have set up. This can hinder the connectivity of your module to the network. Just turn them off temporarily and switch to default settings. And as for DNS configurations, I recommend that you switch over to Google's DNS, which you can access with this IP. You can enable them back after setting up the connection. Then there is the general troubleshooting that can prove valuable in situations like this. Make sure that your internet is working properly with enough speeds to support the functions of the module. Connect your phone to the same 2.4 GHz network and run a speed test to gauge the network performance. If the speeds and latency seem to be compromised, get that patched up first. You can start by power cycling your internet router, which can help get rid of any power-related issues and effectively refresh the network. Just unplug your internet router and plug it back in after a minute or two. Now, finally, if signal strength is the issue, ensure that your module and your internet router are placed as close to each other as possible with minimal obstacles in between. You could also opt for a mesh network or a Wi-Fi extender to further enhance the signal, but that usually comes at a premium. Now, this might seem like a weird one, 
but the cable and adapter that you use to power your sync module can play a role in this connectivity issue as well. There is no specific indication that lets you know that your sync module is not receiving enough power and at first glance, this might seem like a non-issue. But check the power ratings of your module and make sure to use a compatible adapter at least. Connecting to a USB port on your computer is a huge no-no as such ports are not rated to sustain load from devices like your sync module and you may end up causing irreparable damage on your computer. Also, ensure that the cables that you use are in great condition. Switch to a well spec cable from a reputed brand if your current cable has noticeable wear and tear. Finally, I recommend that you end things by power cycling your sync module. Simply unplug your module and plug it back in after a minute. Do this multiple times to completely refresh and get rid of any static charge buildup. Try connecting your device back again to your network and see if your issues persist. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a sync module that simply won't connect to your Wi-Fi. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Blink content like this.